टुडे आई विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू आर केबल डिजाइनिंग सॉफ्टवेयर व्हिच वी हैव डेवलप्ड टू हेल्प कंसल्टेंट्स ऑप्टिमाइज द केबल डिजाइंस और रिड्यूस कॉस्ट इन द प्रोजेक्ट्स सो रिसेंटली वी हेल्प वन ऑफ एन एमएपी कंसल्टेंट गेट डाउन द लाइफटाइम कॉस्ट ऑफ केबल्स फ्रॉम ₹1 करोड़ टू ₹73 लाख अप्रोक्सीमेटली अ 27% रिडक्शन सो आई विल जस्ट क्विकली टेक यू थ्रू दिस सो वी हैव टू एंटर द डिटेल्स ऑफ आवर Uh, system which are like system voltage 415 we have chosen for this particular case number of phases are three the system fault current time is the system fault current time in seconds so we have chosen 0.1 then the system fault current value say we choose 10000 amperes current in amperes is the demand current that we are designing the cables for so for this particular example we are choosing 402 amperes we have chosen aluminum conductor Three and a half cores, and size for this example is two hundred and forty square mm. We'll be laying them in grounds, and total number of runs are four. The length is six seventy five meters. So all these values have essentially come from the design that we have chosen for this particular site, and the design that we want to optimize. In case you want to just get recommendation and not design, you can choose any value over here. But you will still need to choose the conductor and the number of cores and where you will be laying them. The size you can choose any, and the uh, software will just give you the recommendations. D rating factor against is again is based on the site conditions. We have chosen zero point eight seven depending on the temperature values. Power factor for a system we have chosen point eight. Now these are the four factors. The next four factors are the ones which are generally not a part of cable selection software. Uh, because we are no one is calculating the lifetime cost because of ohmic losses so these are based on the judgment of the designers that for how many hours daily will the cable be carrying the current that we are designing it for so say the designer feels that it won't be carrying the current for 24 hours but it will be carrying for 16 hours every day for the long period then they can simply mention 16 over here percentage running load of demand current is based on again the judgment of the designer that if 402 is the demand current the cable won't be carrying 100% of the current in its entirety of life so this is an average based on an estimate at what percent will it be operating at this will depend obviously on the uh, conditions the cable is being run in and the type of project it is like it's a factory or a builder a builder is constructing a residential tower or a commercial tower so depending on all those factors this can come up say we say 80% because this was for a site which required continuous current and for emergency operations life of cable can be anywhere between 15 to 25 years it's taking it on the lower end unit rate is the electricity cost we have chosen rupees 10 because that's the cost in cities like delhi and mumbai and can even go higher so depending on where the project is this can be chosen now we come to the model part which is a very critical part this is the statistical model based on which this entire software is running what does it mean so vd 5% means that the maximum permissible voltage drop for the design is 5% and ol 100% means that we are designing or selecting the cable size based on the current rating of the cable at 100% of the demand current obviously adjusting for the d rating factors so you can select three models 5% 2.5% or 2% so if my operating load uh, if my demand current is 402 amperes i am choosing a cable which will be able to sustain that load right at the border exactly at 100% it it may go lower or a lower that's a separate thing altogether but the cable size that i am choosing based on the current rating will be at 100% of the demand current Uh, maximum runs you can always keep at 20 uh, no point to change that that is just for the iterations that need to run so uh, now we submit this app so oh, this whole process generally takes around 1 1 and a half minutes and uh, we submit and we'll get the results the calculations happen in instantaneously but sometimes getting the data from the server can take time and uh, we'll just wait for a minute or so so yeah we can see uh, it's happened in what 10 15 seconds So now the top part of the score is the score of the selection made by the customer. So like we had selected two forty square mm cable, four runs, 
and this app tells us that the quality score for this is 96.86%. Any quality score above 90% is accepted because it is within the permissible limits of the voltage drop and the op operating load percentage based on the model that we have chosen in the last sheet. So if it is above 90%, it means it is meeting those requirements and the higher quality score indicates that the voltage drop is probably lower than 5% or the maximum current or the cable that we have chosen can take more than 402 amperes. Cost score rec uh, of 96.3% implies that there is a possibility of reduce this cost further. Currently the cost is 47 lakhs approximately, which is the lifetime cost. Now when we go into the recommendations, this is what the app is offering as recommendations. So it can be based on various factors. The first one that we have clicked are the lowest number of runs. So say the designer means, um, wants to say that I don't want the lowest cost. What I want is the minimum possible number of runs because that makes handling much easier. So they can simply choose lowest number of runs and you see the recommendation is three and a half for 400 with number of runs being three. Quality score is higher than what we had earlier chosen however the cost goes down and the total uh, uh, cost score goes down and the total lifetime cost goes up to approximately 50 lakhs similarly we can choose the recommendation for lowest cost and one surprising thing you'll see over here is that the quality score is higher and the cost is lower so there is a very common misconception that you can only reduce the cost of the lifetime cost of a cable by impacting the quality which is not the case as you can see over here. The cost has gone down from 47 lakhs to 46 lakhs and the quality score has gone up from 96.86% to 98.86%. However, we have had to increase the number of runs. So that's a call that the designer has to take. Now uh, you may wonder what this 185A stands for. So this is a cable that we have developed which has enhanced uh, properties and a much lower conductor resistance. So that is also a part of the database. So according to this calculation, this particular cable reduces the cost more than a regular 185 square mm cable and which is why it would have recommended this. This wasn't the case in the 400 square mm no lowest number of runs. And so depending on what the input is, uh, the app will give out the best recommendation. We can also go in for the optimized solution. This takes into account both the lowest number of runs and the lowest cost. And in this case, we see a 240 square mm enhanced cable is what it recommends because it increases the quality score at the same time reducing the cost. So which final combination to go for is the call of the designer, but this can help designer look into the right direction and also in many times help them uh, check for typographical errors, which they may have done while choosing the correct cable in there. Uh, Excel sheet or wherever they are uh, entering it. So this is more like to give you the position of the current design to help you take any decisions that you may consider necessary to improve the design. If you want to know more details about how this works and how you can use it for your uh, designing uh, for, for your various projects, you can always reach out to us at the details mentioned in the description below and we'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, thank you and have a good day.